We thank all the reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies, everywhere in the world for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavors and protect you always, especially while on duty. Ever wonder how beautiful our planet is? With exotic birds, diverse flora and fauna, immense oceans, vast rivers, endless skies, and generous earth, all of which house, nourish, and protect every being under their loving care without asking for any reward. Fortunate and blessed are we indeed to live on this wondrous planet and enjoy all the precious gifts this world has to offer. May the divine be loved and thanked forever. May we always remember to appreciate and care for our Earth home. Kính chào means greetings in Aulaxis, also known as Vietnamese. I'm Khan from the memorable city of Hue in splendid Aulax, also known as Vietnam. We can never thank you enough for your meat-free lifestyle, which produces a healthier world and a safer planet. May God bless you. Benvenuti fantastici spettatori, siamo felici di avervi con noi, means welcome amazing viewers, we are happy to have you with us, in Italian, I'm Maria from Cosi Campobasso, the peace that good leaders maintain for their country will be forever treasured in the hearts of their people, loving Italy and the world too, thanks you. Welcome to Noteworthy News, constructive news for a revitalizing world. Constructive news for a reviving world. Supreme Master Television brings you good news from around our beautiful planet. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Our programs can be viewed online at Supreme Master TV. Com. In today's news, Iran and ASEAN create foundation for future economic prosperity. Chinese peacekeepers honored by the United Nations. Companies committed to sustainability honored in Singapore. Canada supports asylum seekers. And Korea's first dog leads campaign on canine adoption and protection. All this and more on Supreme Master Television, your constructive global network. Iran and ASEAN signed Friendship and Cooperation Agreement. In Singapore, Iran and the 10-nation intergovernmental organization, the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, ASEAN, signed the Treaty of Amity and Cooperation to create a foundation for future economic partnership. The signing ceremony was arranged in conjunction with the 51st ASEAN Summit, which brought together foreign ministers
from the member states committed to enhancing regional integration in several different areas, including economy, education, security, and socio-cultural aspects. We join in a chorus of applause, Iran and ASEAN nations, for your open-minded and friendly ties. May your newly blossomed partnership mark the beginning of an auspicious and abundant era for all your forward-thinking citizens. United Nations recognizes Chinese peacekeepers. The 331 members of the 8th Chinese Peacekeeping Engineer and Medical Detachment stationed in Sudan were recently presented the UN Peace Medals of Honor at a ceremony in El Fasher, Darfur, Sudan. The peacekeeping units were awarded for their humanitarian aid and promotion of peace, including providing medical aid and participating in road repairs, refugee assistance, firefighting and rescue work. This past year, Chinese peacekeepers have also been providing much-needed assistance to regions in Darfur, Lebanon, Liberia, Mali and South Sudan. We are deeply touched, China, by your love in action. May your benevolent efforts ensure that citizens have joyful, healthy, and harmonious lives. Up next, archaeologists discover ancient library in Germany. We'd like to thank all the great minds that have created technology for making the impossible possible. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. We'll return with more enriching news after these messages. Above all, when we're free of all the massive burdens imposed by producing and consuming meat and instead practice the compassionate vegan organic farming, then the energy patterns of the world will change to a more compatible waveform with the earth and her inhabitants and with heaven. To produce harmonious weather and benevolent life-supporting atmosphere. It's all about changing energy. Make good energy. Just be veg, go green, do good. the Reeves Munjack, and it's fun to be vegan like me. Stay vigilant whenever you're walking your animal companion. Look ahead for glass or any other sharp objects. According to the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, if your animal friend accidentally gets a small wound, less than half an inch in diameter, it can be cleaned with an antibacterial wash and wrapped with a light bandage. For anything bigger, please make a visit to the veterinarian for treatment. Thank you for your attention and lots of love for being veg and going green to save the planet for all humans and us all co-inhabitants. Now it's time for the worldwide weather.
ancient public library discovered in Germany. Archaeologists have uncovered the oldest public library in Germany, built in the 2nd century AD in the center of the city of Cologne. Originally unearthed in 2017, archaeologists later concluded that the niches in the walls meant that the structure had been used as a library, possibly housing approximately 20,000 scrolls. The walls and three niches of the ancient building will be visible in the Protestant Church Community Center, where it is now located. What a remarkable find in Germany! May we honor our rich and fascinating past as humanity moves into a glorious future. Green firms recognized with sustainable business awards in Singapore in a gathering organized by international events producer Global Initiatives in Singapore 19 Sustainable Business Awards were announced with property firm City Developments Limited CDL of Singapore and global consumer product company Unilever honored as the overall winners. Both have committed to green business ethics and reducing their environmental footprint. Unilever also won awards for water and supply chain management and CDL for reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Our admiration and thanks Singapore for honoring Eco Endeavors. Congratulations, City Developments Limited, Unilever, and all companies awarded for helping to protect and improve our Earth. May every business take the path of creating a loving and sustainable world. Canada supports asylum seekers. The Canadian government has recently contributed 8.4 million US dollars to help operate the shelters in Toronto, Ontario, in which approximately 40% of the shelter residents are asylum seekers. The funds are also being used to create a triage center in Cornwall, Ontario, to assist people who have entered the country at unofficial border crossings. The plan was welcomed by municipalities with the mayor of Chatham Kent, the Honorable Randy Hope, saying, We see this as an opportunity for our communities to rally behind each other and support each other, to make sure we are bringing in people and giving them gainful employment opportunities. Chatham Kent, with a population of 102,000, has already welcomed 75 Syrian refugees into its municipality. A big salute, Canadian government, municipalities and citizens for your compassionate assistance to sisters and brothers in their time of need. May you always be in God's abundant blessings. Coming up, school started by refugees, ranked as one of the best in Uganda. We're going to send thanks to the actors and actresses for letting us enjoy unforgettable performances and character portrayals. Supreme Master Television will return in just a moment with more beneficial news. Isn't it about time to change your lifestyle? Find out how to live a sustainable, alternative life. Please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash bveg. Welcome back to Noteworthy News, effective news for an uplifting world. School started by refugees loaded as one of Uganda's best. 
In 2005, young refugees staying at the Kiangwali refugee settlement in western Uganda founded a school to help educate children like themselves. They named the school Koburuas after their countries of origin, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Burundi, Rwanda and Sudan. Now, with 530 students attending the school, the children and teachers at Kuburas know firsthand that education opens doors, and their dedication has brought results and recognition. Kuburas ranks as one of the top four schools in Uganda, based on national exam results, and 40 of its graduates are currently studying at universities around the world. What an inspirational example. Koburo's founders, students and teachers, your amazing spirit of determination and cooperation are changing the world through education. God bless you. Korea's first dog leads campaign on canine adoption and protection. On the grounds of Seoul Plaza on July 17, Korea's first dog, Tori, teamed up with animal rights group care or coexistence of animal rights on earth to oppose dog meat consumption and encourage the adoption of abandoned canines. Tori is the companion dog of His Excellency Moon Jae-in, President of the Republic of Korea, who adopted him in 2017. <laughs> 검고 잡종이라는 이유로 입양 기피 대상이 되다가 2년 만에 무려 대통령 청와대로 입성한 대통령의 퍼스트 독이 된 그런 녀석입니다. Since then, Tory's life has transformed. 그리고 문재인 대통령과 김정숙 여사께서 모두 어, 토리가 처음에 왔을 때 그런 어, 조금 불안해하고 그 다음에 뭔가 좀 슬펐던 그런 표정들이 지금은 굉장히 환하고 그런 밝은 모습으로 바뀌어서 어, 무척 기분 좋고 행복해 하고 계시다는 그런 전언입니다. With 2018 soft toys made in the image of Tory and carrying the slogan "I'm not food." The campaign organized by CARE hopes to boost awareness that all abandoned dogs deserve a second chance just like Tori. 이렇게 토리처럼 학대받고 유기되고 그 다음에 잡아먹힐 위기에서 구조된 동물도 이렇게 사랑받는 반려견으로 거듭날 수 있다. 이런 유기견이 생기지 않았으면 하는 의미에서 토리를 입양하게 되었고요. 그다음에 유기견이 생김으로 인해서 요즘은 많은 그런 아이들이 식용으로 가는 경우가 너무 많이 있기 때문에 어떻게 식용견이 따로 있겠어요? 모든 생명체인데 모든 생명은 소중합니다. 개라는 동물이 더 이상 식용으로 희생되지 않는 나라. 개라는 동물이 모두에게 반려동물이 되는 그런 대한민국을 만들고 싶습니다. 어 여러분들 어 유기견에 대해서 많이 관심 가져주시고 유기견들 상처받지 않게 많이 입양해 주시고. 我们希望这个活动之后让更多人知道狗狗是我们的朋友，然后啊就是可以放弃去吃狗，希望大家多一点爱我们的狗狗。자목줄고 We send our deep appreciation. Care and all involved for your fervent plea to save our precious canine friends. And the big Paul five, Tori, we so happy for you and thanks for landing your first dog status to give hope to other adorable furry companions like you. We also thank the Korean president and first lady for setting a compassionate trend and for allowing Tory to lead this merciful campaign. May our world soon greet the era of peace in which all beings live harmoniously together in love and respect. It's now time to enjoy the joke of the day entitled Salary Negotiation. Excuse me, sir. May I talk to you? Sure. Come on in. What can I do for you? Well, sir, as you know, I have been an employee of this firm for over 10 years. Yes. I won't beat around the bush, sir. I would like a raise. I currently have four companies after me, and so I decided to talk to you first. A raise? 
I would love to give you a raise, but this is just not the right time. I understand your position and I know that the current economic downturn has had a negative impact on sales, but you must also take into consideration my hard work, proactiveness and loyalty to this company for over a decade. Taking into account these factors and considering I don't want to start a brain drain, I am willing to offer you a 10% raise and an extra 5 days of vacation time. How does that sound? Great. It's a deal. Thank you, sir. Before you go, just out of curiosity, what companies were after you? Oh, the electric company, gas company, water company, and the mortgage company. <laughs> and now we have a hard sign from Zhenzhen in China. 感谢青海无上师，感谢无上师电视台，为世界带来辉煌与繁荣，为生活增光添彩，为大众提供精神食粮，滋养灵魂。对我而言，清晨的第一件事就是看电视。随着节目的播出，时而开怀大笑，时而沉浸深思，时而激结赞叹，时而感慨不已。最喜欢师傅充满智慧的各种开示，平易近人，又令人豁然开朗，自然而然地解决了修行和生活中所遇到的各种问题。自从观看无上师电视台之后，心中充满了爱与欢笑，生命焕然一新，灵魂得到净化。在上帝的恩典加持下，愿无上师电视台成为世上最好的电视台。播出更多更精彩的节目，为地球带来和平与希望。林真真来自中国。Joyous Zhen Zhen, we are delighted to know of the positive, heartwarming effect you have experienced as a result of watching Supreme Master Television, and in particular, Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures, where she imparts her profound wisdom. We pray that our programs continue to nourish yourself and the world in this way. Best wishes and heaven's blessings, Supreme Master TV staff. P.S. Master says, "Love you." We welcome your heartlines and stories. Please send them to heartline at suprememastertv dot com. We sure have enjoyed spending time with you on Northworthy News. May your days be graced with wisdom and bliss. Wishing you a blessed week. We thank all the reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies everywhere in the world for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavors and protect you always, especially while on duty. For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com/nwn. In the grip of unmitigated catastrophe, save our world. Animal-free products. Save our world. Sustainable energy. Plant trees. Save our world. Animal-free products. Sustainable energy. Plant trees plus more. For more urgent details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash sos.
All information concerning the scientific evidence of climate change and its solution is in Supreme Master Ching Hai's book, From Crisis to Peace, free to download at crisistopeace.org. Để nhân loại 
bớt quay cuồng kiếp sống mình mình về rực diện một bản The subconscious mind is the driver of our lives. If your subconscious believes you can have a great marriage, then chances are you will. Watch on to find out more. Cherished friends. We are honored to have Miss Bao Ngoc, a physiotherapist from Aulak or Vietnam, present our fascinating program, Mind Kinetics Coaching: Positive Thinking Tools, Part Two of Two. Miss Bao has earned her bachelor's degrees in physiotherapy and nursing. She currently provides physiotherapy services at a traditional medicine hospital. Xin chào quý khán giả rực rỡ. 
Tôi là Bảo Ngọc Đến từ đất nước Âu Lạc xanh tươi Người dân Âu Lạc Với tâm đơn thuần và từ ái Mến chúc mọi người Luôn an bình và mãn nguyện trong tâm Hôm nay Chúng tôi rất vui Được chia sẻ phần 2 Trong loạt tiết mục Gồm hai phần Về công việc đầy thăng hoa Của cô Pesker Kaper Đề cao tầm quan trọng Của việc sử dụng các công cụ Giúp suy nghĩ khẳng định cho một cuộc sống hạnh phúc Cô Besker đã được trao giải thưởng cho nhiều cách thức huấn luyện và lãnh đạo sử dụng phương pháp khoa học về trí lực độc quyền của cô với mục đích giúp mọi người đạt được an bình nội tại Là đồng chủ tịch tổ chức huấn luyện và lãnh đạo quốc tế CLI Cô Besker được các học viên chiều mến gọi là thầy huấn luyện Cô đã giúp nhiều người trên khắp Nam Châu đạt được mục tiêu và vượt qua nhiều khó khăn thử thách trong mọi mặt của cuộc sống. Cô Pesker cũng rất vui khi được giảng dạy cho các hội nhóm và đào tạo nhiều huấn luyện viên về phương pháp này. Cô cũng là tác giả viết nhiều sách, trong đó có cuốn Thượng Đế trong công tác huấn luyện, bí quyết sống hạnh phúc. Khoa học gia người Hoa Kỳ, bác sĩ Bruce Lipton, nổi tiếng thế giới là người đứng đầu trong lĩnh vực sinh học tế bào và tiềm thức. Xin mời quý vị lắng nghe ông chia sẻ về sức mạnh của tiềm thức. The subconscious mind runs your, your behavior and your genetics and your biology over 95%. Here's the problem. How come it's so difficult to get what you want when you think you're running your life? The answer is because the new science says you're not running your life. Your subconscious is running your life. And that has beliefs and programs from other people. So as we know, a belief in our conscious must be congruent with that same belief in our subconscious mind in order to make things happen. Mm -hmm. So the two minds must be in agreement with each other. Only then can we move forward. Yeah, I like to think of it this way, you know, conscious mind, subconscious mind, in agreement, right? They're shaking yeah, hands. Yeah. <laughs> right on. Yes, and I'll give you an example. Let's say um, someone in the viewing audience is having trouble in their marriage. Well, in your conscious mind, you say to yourself that, yeah, I can have a great relationship mm -hmm. with my husband or my wife. However, during a mind kinetic session, you might discover that your subconscious mind is saying, no, you don't. No, you don't. You don't believe at a deep level that you can have a happy and loving relationship with your husband or your wife. No wonder marriage failure rates are so high. We need to remember that the subconscious mind is the driver of our lives. If your subconscious believes you can have a great marriage, then chances are you will. Let's take a moment now and listen as Dr. Bogdana Makovei from Romania explains the law of belief and the precision of the science of mind kinetics from a medical doctor's perspective. Hi everyone. My name is Bogdana Makovei from the beautiful city of Bucharest in Romania. My background is medical doctor and everything I have studied was based on scientific discoveries relying on very logical facts, science-based medicine. I'm studying the science of mind kinetics for coaching and leadership. Through these studies, I have learned that this science is so precise that can even pinpoint the root cause or the beginning, the seed when a negative belief was planted in a person's subconscious mind. Next, once we know the negative belief that a person may have had for decades, we can switch it around in just one mind kinetics coaching session. You see, we all know the universal law, the law of belief. What we think, we become. We can permanently switch a negative thought into a positive one. Now, this is a breakthrough in science. Bây giờ, chúng tôi sẽ tọa thiền dưới tán cây oai vệ. Khi trở lại, chúng ta sẽ tìm hiểu về công việc của nhà thần kinh học bác sĩ Kendall Spurt và nghiên cứu của bà về lối suy nghĩ khẳng định. Xin quý vị vui lòng giữ làn sóng truyền hình vô thực sư.
Have you ever thought about being a bird? Yeah. yeah. Of all God's creatures, I am happy that I am a bird. Everything's fine. When you see these friends having so much fun, you just can't help wishing you were one of them, can you? Everything's always fine with that bird. It dawns on me you haven't met the colorful creatures of Paradise Island. We're all part of each other here. Outside we'd be like wild birds, <gasps> having to fend for ourselves. <gasps> Why didn't I listen? Prima does mean number one. I hear that on the outside they actually eat creatures, even birds. And how would we ever get to sleep without Mom's lullaby? Hey, we live here too. Me, no. Mustn't forget the most important person here, Mom. Birds of Paradise, just winging it, based on true tales of Supreme Master Qinghai and her feathered family. Birds of a feather, everyone. Get it now on DVD. Mom has created a paradise no one would dream of leaving. <laughs> I concur. This is the best of all possible worlds. Prima, wouldn't you agree? With what? That no one would ever dream of leaving Paradise Island. Well, if we left, we wouldn't be here. And then we'd miss ourselves. Chào mừng quý vị trở lại tiết mục huấn luyện trí lực. Công cụ giúp suy nghĩ khẳng định phần 2 trong 2 phần trên truyền hình vô thượng sư. Trong khi tiến hành nghiên cứu riêng về sức mạnh của suy nghĩ khẳng định, cô Besker cũng nhận thấy công việc của cô trùng hợp với công trình nghiên cứu của cố bác sĩ Kander Spurt là nhà thần kinh học người Hoa Kỳ. Bác sĩ Spurt phát hiện thấy cảm xúc có tác động to lớn đến sức khỏe của tế bào. Từ đó ảnh hưởng đến suy nghĩ và hành vi của chúng ta. Trong cuốn sách do bà biên soạn mang tên Phân tử của cảm xúc, bác sĩ Perth viết rằng nếu cảm xúc bị ngưng trệ do bị từ chối, kìm nén hoặc tổn thương, chúng ta có thể cảm thấy bế tắc, không thể hoan hỉ đáp lại thế giới xung quanh và sẽ lặp lại những hành động trước đây. Nhờ học cách trực diện để vượt qua những trải nghiệm và hoàn cảnh trong quá khứ, những ký ức được lưu trữ trong các thụ quan của tế bào, chúng ta có thể tự thoát khỏi những trở ngại, hoàn cảnh bế tắc này. Công trình nghiên cứu của cô Pesker giúp mang lại nhiều hy vọng khi chúng ta không thể suy nghĩ rõ ràng để đạt tới mục tiêu hoặc vượt qua khó khăn. Các thụ quan sẽ thắt chặt lại, ngăn không cho thức ăn và năng lượng đi vào để nuôi dưỡng toàn bộ tế bào. Cô cho biết rằng quan niệm và hệ tư tưởng phủ định đơn giản chính là hậu quả của các tế bào không khỏe mạnh, các tế bào không vui. Vậy giải pháp là gì? Câu trả lời là hãy nhớ rằng tình thương luôn chiến thắng nỗi sợ, bởi vì tình thương có chấn động lực cao hơn. Tần số chấn động cao hơn của phương pháp huấn luyện trí lực giúp giải phóng những cảm xúc bị ngừng động trong các thủ quan, tế bào sẽ được nuôi dưỡng. Nhờ đó chúng ta suy nghĩ về hoàn cảnh được rõ ràng hơn. Trong những năm đầu nghiên cứu, cô Besker thường kiểm tra sức lực của học viên vào đầu và cuối mỗi buổi huấn luyện và trong những lần ghé thăm sau để chứng minh cảm xúc bị bế tắc đã được giải phóng vĩnh viễn. Tóm lại, khi gặp khó khăn trong cuộc sống hoặc không thể đạt được mục tiêu, khoa học ngày nay đã giải thích nguyên nhân là do các thụ quan bị co thắt lạ. Áp dụng phương pháp khoa học về trí lực, chúng ta có thể giải phóng những cảm xúc này, thoát khỏi tình trạng bế tắc. After the first session, it was truly amazing. I could have never thought that the emotions have so much weight. Tons and loads of weight was removed from me. I'm more content. I'm more peaceful. I'm more confident about myself. 
I have uh, gone through those patterns of low self-esteem, low self-confidence, and I'm much better now. I realize now how powerful I am as a person for myself and for others also. Sau đây, bà Mary, 84 tuổi ở Canada, sẽ chia sẻ trải nghiệm của mình. For whatever reason, I felt guilty about everything I did, thinking that I was a bad person. Now, because of those positive thinking tools, when I look back on my life, I realize that, on the contrary, I was I'm a good person, helping people when I could. Today I practice keeping my mind pure and positive and I invite older people like me and young people also to love themselves and forgive the past. I realize that forgiveness is freedom. Phương pháp tiếp cận đầy tình thương của cô Pesker để huấn luyện và lãnh đạo ở mức độ cá nhân và trong nghề nghiệp chắc chắn giúp nhiều người cải thiện nhiều khía cạnh trong cuộc sống, tìm thấy sự an bình và tự tin để trưởng thành, tha thứ và có nhiều tình thương hơn. Xin quý vị tiếp tục đón xem loạt chương trình thứ hai về phương pháp huấn luyện chiến lược, công cụ giúp suy nghĩ khẳng định trong tương lai gần để tìm hiểu và áp dụng vào cuộc sống một số phương cách đơn giản nhưng vô cùng hiệu quả giúp các tế bào dạng dỡ niềm vui. Để biết thêm thông tin về cô Pesker Kaper, xin vui lòng truy cập coachingandleadership.com Cảm ơn quý vị đã cùng theo dõi tiết mục Huấn luyện chí lực Công cụ giúp suy nghĩ khẳng định Phần 2 trong hai phần hôm nay Mong mọi người có an bình nội tại Nhờ đó kiến tạo hòa bình thế giới Thank you for joining us today For Mind Kinetics Coaching Positive Thinking Tools Part 2 of 2 Up next is Speed Up Our Planet's Improvement And Evolution With this Divinity Powers Part 3 of 5 on Between Master and Disciples. May we all be peaceful inside, thus creating world peace. For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash HL. That which calls the rose is mine. Anna Davidson from Ireland. I just want to say, be veg, go green to save the planet. Vedete veggie, živejte zeleno, da spasim planetata. Sea vegetariano, sea ecologico para salvar el planeta. Hi, saya Intelli Diana. Uh, jadilah vegan, pelihara alam dan selamatkan planet kita. Vidi vegetarianet, živej zeleno, spasia naša ta planeta. Ninyi la maruto, nyale binami tuwa ome, ne niyade higia, akbe. Si vang da jia nong gao gao yi chi lai, jin liang duo chi su. Yo soy Bernarda Jorge, viceministro de Cultura de la República Dominicana. Se vegetariano, se ecologico, salva el planeta. Hai an chai, sống xanh, ba gu dia gao. Itu enak ba, aku suka ba. Et je n'ai qu'un mot à vous dire. Soyez végé, devenez vert et sauvez la planète. Be veg, go green to save the planet. Let's love and let's love. 
ser vegetariano produce una, una serie de condiciones muy, muy saludables en cada persona. Ani Arab David Rosen, Yed Simchoni, Yer Yarok, Kadei la Hatzil, et Ayekum Shela. Go Green, to save the planet. Ole Vege, Ole Vigrea, que soy amable. Se vegano, es ecológico para salvar el planeta. We are four girl rock band Mia from Korea. Be veg, go green to save the planet. Minangu do for a no gue. I still be Ulsaza. I still tande Ulsaza. I still be gale Ulsaba wait. Jenny Lawigan, Paliarela Alam Utu Salama Kantana Kita. Susu, Wanpa, Jodichi. ジェンジェンラチェワパンロチェアネザンブリンコレスンギョブラトナナロチェビーベッジゴーグリーンセーブザプラネットビーベッジゴーグリーンセーブザプラネットビーベッジゴーグリーンセーブザプラネットビーベ
constructive news for the reviving world. Supreme Master Television brings you good news from around our beautiful planet. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, our programs can be viewed online at suprememastertv.com. In today's news, Iran and ASEAN create foundation for future economic prosperity. Chinese peacekeepers honored by the United Nations. Companies committed to sustainability honored in Singapore. Canada supports asylum seekers. And Korea's first dog leads campaign on canine adoption and protection. All this and more on Supreme Master Television, your constructive global network. Iran and ASEAN signed Friendship and Cooperation Agreement. In Singapore, Iran and the 10-nation intergovernmental organization, the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, ASEAN, signed the Treaty of Amity and Cooperation to create a foundation for future economic partnership. The signing ceremony was arranged in conjunction with the 51st ASEAN Summit, which brought together foreign ministers from the member states committed to enhancing regional integration in several different areas, including economy, education, security, and socio-cultural aspects. We join in a chorus of applause, Iran and ASEAN nations for your open-minded and friendly ties. May your newly blossomed partnership mark the beginning of an auspicious and abundant era for all your forward-thinking citizens. United Nations recognizes Chinese peacekeepers. The 331 members of the 8th Chinese Peacekeeping Engineer and Medical Detachment stationed in Sudan were recently presented the UN Peace Medals of Honor at a ceremony in El Fasher, Darfur, Sudan. The peacekeeping units were awarded for their humanitarian aid and promotion of peace, including providing medical aid and participating in road repairs, refugee assistance, firefighting and rescue work. This past year, Chinese peacekeepers have also been providing much-needed assistance to regions in Darfur, Lebanon, Liberia, Mali and South Sudan. We are deeply touched, China, by your love in action. May your benevolent efforts ensure that citizens have joyful, healthy and harmonious lives. Up next, archaeologists discover ancient library in Germany. We'd like to thank all the great minds that have created technology for making the impossible possible. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. We we'll return with more enriching news after these messages. How do you practice vegetarianism if your parents don't, if you're a kid and your parents don't, or if you're married to someone who doesn't? Four Basic Principles of a Godly Lifestyle Interview with Rabbi Rami Shapiro, Part 2 of 2. Tune in on September 18th, Tuesday, for our meeting with the respected Rabbi Rami Shapiro here on Supreme Master Television. the Reeves Munjack, and it's fun to be vegan like me. Stay vigilant whenever you're walking your animal companion. Look ahead for glass or any other sharp objects. According to the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, if your animal friend accidentally gets a small wound, less than half an inch in diameter, it can be cleaned with an antibacterial wash and wrapped with a light bandage. For anything bigger, please make a visit to the veterinarian for treatment. Thank you for your attention and lots of love for being veg and going green to save the planet for all humans and us all co-inhabitants. Now it's time for the worldwide weather.
ancient public library discovered in Germany. Archaeologists have uncovered the oldest public library in Germany, built in the 2nd century AD in the center of the city of Cologne. Originally unearthed in 2017, archaeologists later concluded that the niches in the walls meant that the structure had been used as a library, possibly housing approximately 20,000 scrolls. The walls and three niches of the ancient building will be visible in the Protestant Church Community Center, where it is now located. What a remarkable find in Germany! May we honor our rich and fascinating past as humanity moves into a glorious future. Green firms recognized with sustainable business awards in Singapore in a gathering organized by international events producer Global Initiatives in Singapore 19 Sustainable Business Awards were announced with property firm City Developments Limited CDL of Singapore and global consumer product company Unilever honored as the overall winners. Both have committed to green business ethics and reducing their environmental footprint. Unilever also won awards for water and supply chain management and CDL for reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Our admiration and thanks Singapore for honoring Eco Endeavors. Congratulations, City Developments Limited, Unilever, and all companies awarded for helping to protect and improve our earth. May every business take the path of creating a loving and sustainable world. Canada supports asylum seekers. The Canadian government has recently contributed 8.4 million US dollars to help operate the shelters in Toronto, Ontario, in which approximately 40% of the shelter residents are asylum seekers. The funds are also being used to create a triage centre in Cornwall, Ontario, to assist people who have entered the country at unofficial border crossings. The plan was welcomed by municipalities with the mayor of Chatham Kent, the Honourable Randy Hope, saying we see this as an opportunity for our communities to rally behind each other and support each other, to make sure we are bringing in people and giving them gainful employment opportunities. Chatham Kent, with a population of 102,000, has already welcomed 75 Syrian refugees into its municipality. A big salute, Canadian government, municipalities and citizens for your compassionate assistance to sisters and brothers in their time of need. May you always be in God's abundant blessings. Coming up, school started by refugees, ranked as one of the best in Uganda. We're going to send thanks to the actors and actresses for letting us enjoy unforgettable performances and character portrayals. Supreme Master Television will return in just a moment with more beneficial news. For those who have found true love, flowers of Eden bloom in their souls, heaven and earth existing harmoniously, glorifying each other, creating an everlasting legend. Embracing soul and spirit, listening to the sun, moon and stars, reciting the secrets of eternity. Glittering stars vie for attention with the sun and the moon, revealing your boundless love. Let's ascend to the remote spaces of antiquity and start a brand new future. Your love permeates the universe, cleanses all creations. It turns war into peace, desolation into vibrancy and the ignorant into wise saints. Overwhelmed with present surprises, we chant our praise for God's limitless grace.
Welcome back to Noteworthy News, effective news for an uplifting world. School started by refugees loaded as one of Uganda's best. In 2005, young refugees staying at the Kiangwali refugee settlement in western Uganda founded a school to help educate children like themselves. They named the school Koburuas after their countries of origin. The Democratic Republic of the Congo, Burundi, Rwanda and Sudan. Now, with 530 students attending the school, the children and teachers at Koburuas know firsthand that education opens doors, and their dedication has brought results and recognition. Koburuas ranks as one of the top four schools in Uganda, based on national exam results, and 40 of its graduates are currently studying at universities around the world. What an inspirational example. Koburo's founders, students and teachers, your amazing spirit of determination and cooperation are changing the world through education. God bless you. Korea's first dog leads campaign on canine adoption and protection. On the grounds of Seoul Plaza on July 17, Korea's first dog, Tori, teamed up with animal rights group care or coexistence of animal rights on earth to oppose dog meat consumption and encourage the adoption of abandoned canines. Tori is the companion dog of His Excellency Moon Jae-in, President of the Republic of Korea, who adopted him in 2017. Tori is a since then, Tory's life has transformed. 그리고 문재인 대통령과 김정숙 여사께서 모두 어, 토리가 처음에 왔을 때 그런 어, 조금 불안해하고 그 다음에 뭔가 좀 슬펐던 그런 표정들이 지금은 굉장히 환하고 그런 밝은 모습으로 바뀌어서 어, 무척 기분 좋고 행복해 하고 계시다는 그런 전언입니다. With 2018 soft toys made in the image of Tory and carrying the slogan "I'm not food." The campaign organized by CARE hopes to boost awareness that all abandoned dogs deserve a second chance just like Tori. 이렇게 토리처럼 학대받고 유기되고 그 다음에 잡아먹힐 위기에서 구조된 동물도 이렇게 사랑받는 반려견으로 거듭날 수 있다. 이런 유기견이 생기지 않았으면 하는 의미에서 토리를 입양하게 되었고요. 그다음에 유기견이 생김으로 인해서 요즘은 많은 그런 아이들이 식용으로 가는 경우가 너무 많이 있기 때문에 어떻게 식용견이 따로 있겠어요? 모든 생명체인데 모든 생명을 소중합니다. 개라는 동물이 더 이상 식용으로 희생되지 않는 나라. 개라는 동물이 모두에게 반려동물이 되는 그런 대한민국을 만들고 싶습니다. 어 여러분들 어 유기견에 대해서 많이 관심 가져주시고 유기견들. 上车吧，展开吧，你一边也就是过。我们希望这个活动之后，让更多人知道狗狗是我们的朋友，然后啊，就是可以放弃去吃狗，希望大家多一点爱我们的狗狗。加油！We send our deep appreciation, care, and all involved for your fervent plea to save our precious canine friends. And a big pole five, Tori, we're so happy for you. And thanks for landing your first dog status to give hope to other adorable furry companions like you. We also thank the Korean president and first lady for setting a compassionate trend and for allowing Tori to lead this merciful campaign. May our world soon greet the era of peace in which all beings live harmoniously together in love and respect. It's now time to enjoy the joke of the day entitled Salary Negotiation. Excuse me, sir. May I talk to you? Sure. Come on in. What can I do for you? Well, sir, as you know, I have been an employee of this firm for over 10 years. Yes. 
I won't beat around the bush. Sir, I would like a raise. I currently have four companies after me and so I decided to talk to you first. A raise? I would love to give you a raise, but this is just not the right time. I understand your position and I know that the current economic downturn has had a negative impact on sales, but you must also take into consideration my hard work, proactiveness and loyalty to this company for over a decade. Taking into account these factors and considering I don't want to start a brain drain, I am willing to offer you a 10% raise and an extra 5 days of vacation time. How does that sound? Great. It's a deal. Thank you, sir. Before you go, just out of curiosity, what companies were after you? Oh, the electric company, gas company, water company, and the mortgage company. <laughs> and now we have a hard sign from Zhenzhen in China. 感谢青海无上师，感谢无上师电视台，为世界带来辉煌与繁荣，为生活增光添彩，为大众提供精神食粮，滋养灵魂。对我而言，清晨的第一件事就是看电视。随着节目的播出，时而开怀大笑，时而沉静深思，时而激结赞叹，时而感慨不已。最喜欢师傅充满智慧的各种开示，平易近人，又令人豁然开朗，自然而然地解决了修行和生活中所遇到的各种问题。自从观看无上师电视台之后，心中充满了爱与欢笑，生命焕然一新，灵魂得到净化。在上帝的恩典加持下，愿无上师电视台成为世上最好的电视台，播出更多更精彩的节目。为地球带来和平与希望。林真真来自中国。Joyous Zhen Zhen, we are delighted to know of the positive, heartwarming effect you have experienced as a result of watching Supreme Master Television and, in particular, Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures, where she imparts her profound wisdom. We pray that our programs continue to nourish yourself and the world in this way. Best wishes and heaven's blessings, Supreme Master TV staff. P.S. Master says, "Love you." We welcome your heartlines and stories. Please send them to heartline at suprememastertv.com. Sure, have enjoyed spending time with you on noteworthy news. May your days be graced with wisdom and bliss. Wishing you a blessed week. We thank all the reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies, everywhere in the world for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavors and protect you always, especially while on duty. For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com/nwn. Some of the benefits of a vegetarian diet: lowers blood pressure, lowers cholesterol levels. Reduces type 2 diabetes, prevents stroke conditions, reverses atherosclerosis, reduces heart disease risk 50%, reduces heart surgery risk 80%, prevents many forms of cancer, stronger immune system, increases life expectancy up to 15 years, higher IQ, saves 70% of the total cost of 40 trillion US dollars for reducing global warming. Uses four and a half times less land to grow food, conserves up to 70% clean water, saves 80% of the cleared Amazonian rainforest from animal grazing. A solution for world hunger. Free up 3.4 billion hectares of land. Free up 760 million tons of grain every year. Half the world's grain supply. Consumes one third fossil fuels of those used for meat production. Reduces pollution from untreated animal waste. Maintains cleaner air. 
saves four and a half tons of emissions per U.S. household per year. Stop 80% of global warming, plus more. Save your life. Be veg. Go green. For more urgent information, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash be veg. more things coming that's more positive for this planet okay wow more positive more upward more enlightened more peaceful and more um, loving and kind yeah yeah we'll be everywhere please continue watching to find out more Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic or Lassis also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, and Thai. Felices saludos benevolentes televidentes. Mi nombre es Ricardo desde Heredia, la magnífica Costa Rica. Costa Rica, que significa Costa Rica en español, es conocida como la joya de América Central. Esta pacífica nación fue el primer país del mundo en abolir su ejército. Una república democrática con una fuerte constitución es considerada uno de los países más estables de Centroamérica. Los recursos de Costa Rica incluyen suelos fértiles, abundantes lluvias y bosques que contienen ricas plantaciones de ébano, balsa, caoba y cedro. Así como más del 25% de Costa Rica se compone de bosques protegidos y reservas. Más de 1.300 especies de orquídeas se encuentran en este hermoso y exuberante país. La vida silvestre es abundante e incluye pumas, jaguares, ciervos, monos y aves, entre las cuales están el quexal, el guacamayo y el tucán. Célebre por su belleza natural y sus cordiales habitantes, Costa Rica ha estado implementando activamente políticas que respetan el medio ambiente. Es un placer presentarles brevemente a la espléndida Costa Rica. Oramos para que el amor de Dios se desborde en sus vidas. Durante más de tres décadas, la Maestra Suprema Chin Hai ha iluminado nuestro mundo con sus enseñanzas divinas. Una maestra totalmente iluminada imparte el método Quan Yin de meditación a aquellos que desean descubrir inmediatamente la naturaleza de Dios interna y alcanzar en una vida la liberación eterna del ciclo de la transmigración. 
el método Kuan Yin ha sido practicado por todos los maestros iluminados, tales como Buda, Jesucristo, el profeta Mahoma, la paz sea con él, y Guru Nanak, y muchos más. Ella enfatiza que si siempre recordamos a Dios, ofrecemos servicio desinteresado a otros y seguimos las leyes del universo, alcanzaremos nuestro potencial más elevado como humanos y comprenderemos verdaderamente nuestro propósito en la tierra. La maestra suprema Ching Hai es un extraordinario ejemplo viviente de compasión enviando frecuentemente asistencia material y financiera, además de amor a los refugiados, a los desamparados, a las víctimas de desastres naturales y a otros que necesitan ayuda. En el 2006, ella recibió el Premio Gucci de la Paz, considerado el Premio Nobel de la Paz de Oriente, y ha sido honrada a través de los años con otros numerosos premios y galardones por sus excepcionales obras filantrópicas y humanitarias. Una verdadera voz para nuestros preciosos amigos animales. Ella promueve la pacífica y amorosa dieta a base de plantas y prevé con el despertar de la humanidad hacia lo sagrado de todas las vidas. Un tranquilo y glorioso mundo completamente vegano, donde los animales y las personas vivan en dichosa armonía. Sus iniciativas para difundir la tendencia vegana son diversas y han incluido la distribución del volante de vida alternativa, la cadena internacional de restaurantes veganos Loving Hat, Supreme Master Television, además de hablar regularmente con influyentes líderes de gobierno y medios de comunicación y participar en conferencias televisadas sobre el cambio climático, tanto si somos conscientes de ello como si no. Sus esfuerzos han tenido una enorme influencia sobre la conciencia mundial del estilo de vida amigable con los animales y de cómo esta benévola forma de ser puede traer paz duradera entre las naciones a la vez que salvamos nuestro planeta del cambio climático. A lo largo de los años la maestra suprema Ching Hai ha viajado por todo el mundo, desde las Américas hasta África desde Europa hasta Oceanía y ha ofrecido cientos de discursos al público y a sus discípulos sobre una variedad de temas espirituales. Hoy somos bendecidos con la presentación de una reveladora teleconferencia titulada Se acelera el progreso y la evolución de nuestro planeta con los poderes de la divinidad de Dis. Teleconferencia con la maestra suprema Ching Hai y el personal de Supreme Master TV parte 3 de 5 en Entre la Maestra y los Discípulos, dada en inglés el 29 de agosto del 2018. Master, you mentioned that um, masters in general usually cannot remember their past lives, but you yourself were able to remember your past lives when you were even young, even up to eight years old, you were able to remember your past lives. How is that um, when other masters are not able to? Yes, because I took up the body. I did not have to go through the nine-month period, and I did not go through the process of rebirth, and so I did not have to go through the negative uh, door to, to take up this uh, portion of forgetfulness, okay? Yes. yes. And uh, the saints before me have cleaned up the karma of the body already. So when... I enter the body, it's uh, mostly clean, so I remember things. But many of the human beings also remember things, up to four or five years old, okay? Yes. yes. Up to five years old, I remember things, some of them. And eight years old, uh, I remember only one thing. <laughs> uh, at that moment only, I, I just tell you a secret. Thank you, Master. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, when I was eight years old, I read one of the newspapers somewhere, discarded on the floor, yeah? Yes. Or, or a book, I can't remember, is it a book or is it a, or it's a newspaper? It's a long time. Um, I, I did not think much about it, that's why. It says something like, uh, um, 
a being will be born in Asia. You know, we appear in Asia, and that being is a child now, eight years old. Wow. And that being, that child is going to save the world. So I say, it's me. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> eight years old kid. <laughs> so, of course, and after that, I forget completely until until now, okay? Wow. Until the reason wow. now, yeah. But I said that not proudness or surprising or just joke or anything like that. You know, it's just a matter of fact type. I remember that, okay? Yes, yes Master. It's just eight years old. How can you pretend or be pretentious or joking or anything like that? Understand me? Yes, yes Master. Yes. Yeah. Master, we see on uh, Supreme Master TV nowadays the new series, The Ancient Predictions, and we can see that there are many... Uh, predictions that were foretold a long time ago that um, lead to this time on the planet and to Master's appearance and is is this a special time for the Earth that the karma of the planet allows this information to come forth now, Master? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, we, uh, I mean the heavens, uh, the goddesses uh, have smashed this controlling machine and mm -hmm. some people became more enlightened. Wow. You know, naturally, and many souls are free, understand me? Free to remember and to have choice, yeah? Before they are shackled under this uh, control and they cannot choose anything. They just have to be reborn again and again and again. And if they keep the five precepts, they don't kill anybody, they, they're clean, then they can be reborn with a good, good uh, background, you know, uh, like maybe rich or famous or... Uh, doing things that is not so suffering, yeah? Or don't have to undergo suffering or doing things that is not so harmful to themselves and others. They just keep going around, around, in a merry-go-round circle with their own karma. You understand me? Yes, Master. Under the mercy of, uh, you know, what they call in France, a la mercy of number of the qua, number of the key, you know, this kind of uh, controlling uh, entities from other planets. And they are machine and they are uh, subordinate. Okay? Mm. Yes, master. It's now they are free. It's just the Maya is not machine. That is a problem. The Maya is there, of course, for some purpose. And the Maya is just a force you have to reckon with. And sometimes it's really a nuisance. It's really bad. Sometimes I'm so angry. <laughs> but the arrangement is like that. Any master go down, has to take the positive energy, the strongest possible from the fifth heaven, yeah, or from the shadow world, heaven, and have to take the strongest possible negative force, you see, also from the shadow world, heaven. You understand that? Yes. yes. So these two powers will always contradict each other to make the master's life hell and suffering. But well, that's the price, okay? Yes, master. The price to pay for the human uh, sin, truly. It's not just the disciples, it's the world sin. If a stronger master, then take on karma of the world more. If it's just a, uh, a normal master, then take on the disciple karma. It's a little bit, oh, of course, you can never say clean cut, they're only disciples, you understand? Yes, master. Yes. Because also they have relatives, yeah? They have loved ones, they have friends, they have enemies. All this are counted in. You see? Yes, Master. Yes, master. master, the controlling machines that were smashed on our planet, was it just for our planet or has it for other planets throughout the universe as well? Just our planet. Because they only dump it here. Okay? Yes, Master. Other planets have other planet problems. Okay? <laughs> they have other problems due to their negative tendency or... The Maya, understand? Yes, master. If there is a Maya force there, then they have to deal with that, okay? Yes, master. But the machine and the controlling is only here uh, from from one of the controlling planets. You understand me? They used to come here and uh, take up our resources, yeah? Yes, master. And uh, some soul to bring it up to work for them and they dump some of the bad... Uh, but uh, so-called, for them, you know, for them, they call it bad elements. They dump it here. You got that? Yes, yes master. master. So our planet is a mixture of beings, okay? Some good, some bad. And the, the bad one, not necessarily bad, okay? 
They just went for that planet, okay, for the controlling one. They wanted everything the way they wanted, okay? If anybody have new idea, different idea, or do against them, then there's no root. They will exile them to this planet, okay? Yes, yes, yes master. master. Because at, at that time, this planet not yet so populated, and there were no master or nothing here, okay? Just a small heavenly being that have no power against them. Yes, yes master. master. Is this is this helping um, the human population to become more aware? We see in the news and in media that people are becoming more aware of themselves, their purpose, the planet, and in general becoming more awakened, more veganism, more vegetarian and health, healthy trends. It seems to be opening up more and more now. Is this also due to that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see that. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a surge yes. of upward tendency, you know, for human. yeah? Yes. Even some unexpected event, you know, like people don't import meat anymore, people don't import livestock anymore or export livestock anymore because of concern for animal suffering, etc. This never heard of before. No. <laughs> Not openly like this, you know what I mean? Yes, Even yes, yes. posted on internet for everyone to see leaders of the world. You know what I mean? Yes, yes, Government yes. openly, yeah? Yes. And proud of it even. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, yes master. master. Yeah, and the whole government is back in uh, uh, meatless meat uh, industry. You see what I mean? Having contract with, uh, uh, how you say, uh, artificial meat, yeah? Yes. Meatless meat um, industry to for, for importing to their country, etc. Yeah, okay? Yes, master. Some country even uh, proposed outright uh, religious belief, even though before they didn't. You got what I mean? Yes, yeah? yes Supporting religions, religious belief and practice. You know what I'm saying, right? Okay? Yes, master. Uh, and many more, many more, many more, many more things. There will be more things coming that's more positive for this planet, okay? Wow. More positive, more upward, more enlightened, more peaceful, and more um, loving and kind, yeah? Yes. Thank we'll be you, everywhere. Sarah. Thank all the gossips, huh? <laughs> well, what kind of person like me doing anything, huh? That's a fragile old woman. Huh? You think I can do anything? Yes, <laughs> yes. My high soul, yes. My high soul and my highest soul can do uh, with the help of the goddess. Yeah? Okay? Yes, yes Master. And it, it's been so fast, Master. Is, is it just a build up of the work that you've done over so many years? Because for 20 years, it seemed like. It was improving a little bit, but then all of a sudden it's just boom and everything has changed so quickly. Yeah, well, everything has to build up to the momentum, you know? The power uh, has to be gathered, yes? Yes, Master. It takes tremendous power. Yes, Master. yes, Master. And even if I want to gather them, I have to do stepwise, or the body will perish. Got that? The yes, power. Yes, Master. Even some of these retreats, I almost die. You don't know it. Hmm. Yes. Of course, my heart is beating like oh, more than what the doctor told you uh, that day. <laughs> That's nothing. That was nothing. Yeah, compared to some of the time that I had to go through to some power, yeah? Mm. Yes. Maybe it was my fault. I sit one second or one split second too long. Wow. Or sometimes, because of too much meditation, I forgot the time. I sit too, too soon, too soon into some certain area that I should wait a few more hours. Like, only after six hours, then I can sit back there again. I forgot the time, and I forgot to look at the, the clock. I could sit continuously meditating, but not in that spot. And then in this, um, uh, my set of continuous meditation, I... Just go and sit there, and then I get a jolt <laughs> of stuff, yeah, a jolt of this energy, and then it reminds me that it's not time yet, okay? Yes, Master. Yes, master. Or sometimes I sit a little too long, even one split nana second too long, okay? Wow. It will harm the body, yes. 
even the guards were yelling, out! Yeah. Wow. And they practically kicked me out. <laughs> yeah, and it was so blooming loud, and I said, what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> so loud, so loud. Like thunder in your ear, imagine? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that they yell. Be. Normally, they don't dare yelling too loud like that, yeah? Yes, Master. They talk but they're not too loud, you know? Just normal talk, yeah? Yes, Master. Or just give message, yeah? Like you do SMS? Yes. yes. Or email, yeah? They don't ever yell so suddenly like that, okay? Yes, Master. Not so loud. Okay. Uh, did I answer your question? If not, you can continue asking in the same direction, okay? Yes, Master. Yes, Master. I answered. Thank you. Master, uh, you mentioned that earlier only one being has been to the original universe. So compared to the uh, fifth level masters, uh, does it mean this unique being has brought down much greater, much all-encompassing power to benefit the whole universe? Well, you can say that. You can say that, yes. And, and that's the reason why we witness so many uh, positive uh, change and the peaceful progress happening in our world so quickly that have never happened in our history. Yeah, yeah, it's like that. Actually, some of the master also predict like that. Alai like Master Ben Bensa, do you know? Yes, he said master. that there will be a tremendous power yes. coming to our world, already coming, yeah? When he said that. You remember the his prediction? Yes, Master. Even in his time, he... He saw it already, okay? Yes, Master. And some other prediction also mentioned similar, or more or less, okay? I think, I don't remember a lot of these predictions. But uh, you can mm, refer to them, okay? Yes, yes Master. Master. Queridos televidentes, gracias por acompañarnos en el programa de hoy titulado Se acelera el progreso y la evolución de nuestro planeta con los poderes de la divinidad de Dis. Teleconferencia con la maestra suprema Ching Hai y el personal de Supreme Master TV, parte 3 de 5, en Entre la Maestra y los Discípulos. Por favor sigan sintonizados a Supreme Master Television para una programación más positiva. A continuación sigue entrevista con el Rabino Rami, parte 1 de 2 en palabras de sabiduría. Que experimenten el amor de Dios en todo lo que hacen. May you experience God's love in all you do. For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash bmd. My father taught me a lot about life without ever saying a word. When I was a little girl, my friends were all just like me. His never were. Hello, hello. Hey, didn't you bring them, George? I thought you were. No, no, I brought them last time. Huh? You're all right. <laughs> I forgot. All right, so we'll be with I used to wonder, why would a Jew, a Christian, and a Muslim ever get together? It was him! And then I finally got it. They had a lot more in common than donuts. Friendship. Pass it on. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life.
We thank all the reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies, everywhere in the world for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavors and protect you always, especially while on duty. Ever wonder how beautiful our planet is? With exotic birds, diverse flora and fauna, immense oceans, vast rivers, endless skies, and generous earth, all of which house, nourish, and protect every being under the loving care without asking for any reward. Fortunate and blessed are we indeed to live on this wondrous planet and enjoy all the precious gifts this world has to offer. May the divine be loved and thanked forever. May we always remember to appreciate and care for our Earth home. Kính chào means greetings in Aulaxis, also known as Vietnamese. I am Khanh from the memorable city of Hue in splendid Aulax, also known as Vietnam. We can never thank you enough for your meat-free lifestyle, which produces a healthier world and a safer planet. May God bless you. Benvenuti fantastici spettatori, siamo felici di avervi con noi, means welcome amazing viewers, we are happy to have you with us, in Italian, I'm Maria from Cosi Campobasso, the peace that good leaders maintain for their country will be forever treasured in the hearts of their people, loving Italy and the world too, thanks you. Welcome to Noteworthy News, constructive news for a revitalizing world. Constructive news for a reviving world. Supreme Master Television brings you good news from around our beautiful planet. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Our programs can be viewed online at Supreme Master TV. Com. In today's news, Iran and ASEAN create foundation for future economic prosperity. Chinese peacekeepers honored by the United Nations. Companies committed to sustainability honored in Singapore. Canada supports asylum seekers. And Korea's first dog leads campaign on canine adoption and protection. All this and more on Supreme Master Television, your constructive global network. Iran and ASEAN signed Friendship and Cooperation Agreement. In Singapore, Iran and the 10-nation intergovernmental organization, the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, ASEAN, signed the Treaty of Amity and Cooperation to create a foundation for future economic partnership. The signing ceremony was arranged in conjunction with the 51st ASEAN Summit, which brought together foreign ministers from the member states committed to enhancing regional integration in several different areas, including economy, education, security, and socio-cultural aspects. We join in a chorus of applause, Iran and ASEAN nations for your open-minded and friendly ties. May your newly blossomed partnership mark the beginning of an auspicious 
an abundant era for all your forward-thinking citizens. United Nations recognizes Chinese peacekeepers. The 331 members of the 8th Chinese Peacekeeping Engineer and Medical Detachment stationed in Sudan were recently presented the UN Peace Medals of Honor at a ceremony in El Fasher, Darfur, Sudan. The peacekeeping units were awarded for their humanitarian aid and promotion of peace, including providing medical aid and participating in road repairs, refugee assistance, firefighting and rescue work. This past year, Chinese peacekeepers have also been providing much-needed assistance to regions in Darfur, Lebanon, Liberia, Mali and South Sudan. We are deeply touched, China, by your love in action. May your benevolent efforts ensure that citizens have joyful, healthy and harmonious lives. Up next, archaeologists discover ancient library in Germany. We'd like to thank all the great minds that have created technology for making the impossible possible. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. We'll return with more enriching news after these messages. Every five seconds, one child dies of hunger. Every night, one billion people go to bed with empty stomachs. Being vegetarian could feed two billion people. Be veg and save lives today. and feed the world. Be veg, go green to save the planet. For more urgent details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash SOS. Friends, I'm Roly the Reeves Munjack, and it's fun to be vegan like me. Stay vigilant whenever you're walking your animal companion. Look ahead for glass or any other sharp objects. According to the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, if your animal friend accidentally gets a small wound, less than half an inch in diameter, it can be cleaned with an antibacterial wash and wrapped with a light bandage. For anything bigger, please make a visit to the veterinarian for treatment. Thank you for your attention and lots of love for being veg and going green to save the planet for all humans and us all co-inhabitants. Now it's time for the worldwide weather.
ancient public library discovered in Germany. Archaeologists have uncovered the oldest public library in Germany, built in the 2nd century AD in the center of the city of Cologne. Originally unearthed in 2017, archaeologists later concluded that the niches in the walls meant that the structure had been used as a library, possibly housing approximately 20,000 scrolls. The walls and three niches of the ancient building will be visible in the Protestant Church Community Center, where it is now located. What a remarkable find in Germany! May we honor our rich and fascinating past as humanity moves into a glorious future. Green firms recognized with sustainable business awards in Singapore in a gathering organized by international events producer Global Initiatives in Singapore 19 Sustainable Business Awards were announced with property firm City Developments Limited CDL of Singapore and global consumer product company Unilever honored as the overall winners. Both have committed to green business ethics and reducing their environmental footprint. Unilever also won awards for water and supply chain management and CDL for reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Our admiration and thanks Singapore for honoring Eco Endeavors. Congratulations, City Developments Limited, Unilever, and all companies awarded for helping to protect and improve our Earth. May every business take the path of creating a loving and sustainable world. Canada supports asylum seekers. The Canadian government has recently contributed 8.4 million US dollars to help operate the shelters in Toronto, Ontario, in which approximately 40% of the shelter residents are asylum seekers. The funds are also being used to create a triage centre in Cornwall, Ontario, to assist people who have entered the country at unofficial border crossings. The plan was welcomed by municipalities, with the mayor of Chatham Kent, the Honourable Randy Hope, saying, We see this as an opportunity for our communities to rally behind each other and support each other, to make sure we are bringing in people and giving them gainful employment opportunities. Chatham Kent, with a population of 102,000, has already welcomed 75 Syrian refugees into its municipality. A big salute, Canadian government, municipalities and citizens, for your compassionate assistance to sisters and brothers in their time of need. May you always be in God's abundant blessings. Coming up, school started by refugees, ranked as one of the best in Uganda. We're going to send thanks to the actors and actresses for letting us enjoy unforgettable performances and character portrayals. Supreme Master Television will return in just a moment with more beneficial news. A renowned spectacle of nature and home to endangered species in Southern Africa. The Maloti Drakensberg Park also houses thousands of pieces of historic rock art, giving us a glimpse into the spiritual lives of an ancient tribe. Maloti Drakensberg Park, mountain splendor of Southern Africa. Watch on Tuesday, September 18th to explore this wonderland. Welcome back to Northworthy News, effective news for an uplifting world. School started by refugees loaded as one of Uganda's best. In 2005, young refugees staying at the Kiangwali refugee settlement in western Uganda founded a school to help educate children like themselves. They named the school Koburuas after their countries of origin. The Democratic Republic of the Congo, Burundi, Rwanda and Sudan. 
Now, with 530 students attending the school, the children and teachers at Kuburas know firsthand that education opens doors, and their dedication has brought results and recognition. Kuburas ranks as one of the top four schools in Uganda, based on national exam results, and 40 of its graduates are currently studying at universities around the world. What an inspirational example. Kuburas founders, students and teachers, your amazing spirit of determination and cooperation are changing the world through education. God bless you. Korea's first dog leads campaign on canine adoption and protection. On the grounds of Seoul Plaza on July 17, Korea's first dog, Tori, teamed up with animal rights group care or coexistence of animal rights on earth to oppose dog meat consumption and encourage the adoption of abandoned canines. Tori is the companion dog of His Excellency Moon Jae-in, President of the Republic of Korea, who adopted him in 2017. Tori is a 검고 잡종이라는 이유로 입양 기피 대상이 되다가 2년 만에 무려 대통령 청와대로 입성한 대통령의 퍼스트독이 된 그런 녀석입니다. Since then, Tory's life has transformed. 그리고 문재인 대통령과 김정숙 여사께서 모두 어, 토리가 처음에 왔을 때의 그런 어, 조금 불안해하고 그 다음에 뭔가 좀 슬펐던 그런 표정들이 지금은 굉장히 환하고 그런 밝은 모습으로 바뀌어서 어, 무척 기분 좋고 행복해 하고 계시다는 그런 전언입니다. With 2018 soft toys made in the image of Tory and carrying the slogan "I'm not food." The campaign organized by CARE hopes to boost awareness that all abandoned dogs deserve a second chance just like Tori. 이렇게 토리처럼 학대받고 유기되고 그 다음에 잡아먹힐 위기에서 구조된 동물도 이렇게 사랑받는 반려견으로 거듭날 수 있다. 이런 유기견이 생기지 않았으면 하는 의미에서 토리를 입양하게 되었고요. 그다음에 유기견이 생김으로 인해서 요즘은 많은 그런 아이들이 식용으로 가는 경우가 너무 많이 있기 때문에 어떻게 식용견이 따로 있겠어요? 모든 생명체인데 모든 생명은 소중합니다. 개라는 동물이 더 이상 식용으로 희생되지 않는 나라. 개라는 동물이 모두에게 반려동물이 되는 그런 대한민국을 만들고 싶습니다. 어 여러분들 어 유기견에 대해서 많이 관심 가져주시고 유기견들. 上车吧，展开，把你一边也就是过。我们希望这个活动之后，让更多人知道狗狗是我们的朋友，然后啊，就是可以放弃去吃狗，希望大家多一点爱我们的狗狗。这么重要。We send our deep appreciation, care, and all involved for your fervent plea to save our precious canine friends. And a big Paul five, Tori, we're so happy for you. And thanks for landing your first dog status to give hope to other adorable furry companions like you. We also thank the Korean president and first lady for setting a compassionate trend and for allowing Tori to lead this merciful campaign. May our world soon greet the era of peace in which all beings live harmoniously together in love and respect. It's now time to enjoy the joke of the day entitled Salary Negotiation. Excuse me, sir. May I talk to you? Sure. Come on in. What can I do for you? Well, sir, as you know, I have been an employee of this firm for over 10 years. Yes. I won't beat around the bush. Sir, I would like a raise. I currently have four companies after me, and so I decided to talk to you first. A raise? I would love to give you a raise, but this is just not the right time. I understand your position, and I know that the current economic downturn has had a negative impact on sales, but you must also take into consideration my hard work, proactiveness, and loyalty to this company for over a decade. 
taking into account these factors and considering I don't want to start a brain drain, I am willing to offer you a 10% raise and an extra 5 days of vacation time. How does that sound? Great. It's a deal. Thank you, sir. Before you go, just out of curiosity, what companies were after you? Oh, the electric company, gas company, water company, and the mortgage company. <laughs> and now we have a heartland from Zhenzhen in China. Thank you. 最喜欢师傅充满智慧的各种开示为地球带来和平与希望。林真真,来自中国。Joyous Zhenzhen, we are delighted to know of the positive, heartwarming effect you have experienced as a result of watching Supreme Master Television and in particular, Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures where she imparts her profound wisdom. We pray that our programs continue to nourish yourself and the world in this way. Best wishes and heaven's blessings, Supreme Master TV staff. P.S. Master says, love you. We welcome your heartlines and stories. Please send them to heartline at suprememastertv.com. We sure have enjoyed spending time with you on Northworthy News. May your days be graced with wisdom and bliss. Wishing you a blessed week. We thank all the reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies, everywhere in the world for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavors and protect you always, especially while on duty. For more details, Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash NWN.
thù hận đâu chỉ là những mưu đồ tan nát giang sơn để dẫm ngài vén vào còn nơi này diều thanh thản dừng bước lại anh ơi dừng bước lại đi về đâu nẻo quỷ rẽo ma trù chiến sĩ hề nát thân ngoài tha địa hồn lạc loài trong gió bụi âm dừng chân lại anh ơi dừng chân lại cầm tay em đây người vợ thương chồng thương gia tộc thương cơ đồ thương thế giới sao nở đành gieo tan tóc lầm than dừng tay lại anh ơi dừng tay lại đừng vung gương thề sắc mẫu lên đời hãy nhìn lại những kẻ thù vạn đại phải chăng anh cũng là những con người Ngồi bên em Chứ tâm thần lắng dịu Nghe hồn hoang Từ thiên kiệp đi về Trong gió hú mưa gào Lời thống thiết kêu than gì quan nghiệp chiến trường xưa hoặc ta chết hay là người sẽ chết đời tương lai vụt tắt giữa xuân thì bao nhiêu tình thương gia đình bé bạn theo tim thù và máu hận loang đi một kiếp người đầy nhiệt tình mạch sống mộng ước thanh niên lập bể và trời một giây phí theo dòng máu nóng gió xa trường lành lạnh bụi vàng rơi lại với em 
ta tốn sung sự sống bên xóm làng và quyến thuộc mẹ cha hiền lúa ngoan khoai sống tình biển mộng con đê dài mượn mượt những đông hoa bao thứ hùng bao cổ kiếm hạo hán cứu muôn loài khỏi máu đổ đầu rơi xây hòa bình ấm nó no và thịnh vượng thấy đau binh bằng chân lý diệu vời sát nghiệp sẽ luân hoàn sát nghiệp vui sao đành gây tự biệt thanh ly chỉ có tình thương bao la miên viện làm cho ta vĩ đại giữa muôn loài Do we want to pay? How many more lives disrupted, maimed, or dead? How much more loss and suffering do we want to see? How much do we want peace? Let peace be here now. Wisdom is the mystic heart of, of all religious teachings. It's got four basic points. So the perennial approach is always from the mystical end. So it's not just that there's only one God, it's that there's God is the only thing that exists. Please watch on for the insights of Rabbi Rami Shapiro about the new era where all religions find common basics. Warm greetings, free-spirited viewers. I'm Raquel Alexander from Brooklyn, New York, United States of America. The people in our country wish that each and every one of you be able to feel how closely we are connected, the brothers and sisters of the world. In today's program, we will meet in an interview one dedicated servant of the truth. 
Stay for this eye-opening encounter with Rabbi Rami Shapiro. Rabbi Rami Shapiro is the director of the One River Foundation, an educational not-for-profit that promotes the perennial wisdom at the mystic heart of the world's religions. An author of 36 books, Rabbi Rami had a congregation in Florida in the USA for 20 years and now lectures all over the world. The One River Foundation, headed by Rabbi Rami Shapiro, promotes what they term perennial wisdom. The organization summarizes this wisdom in four points. One, all life arises in and is an expression of a non-dual infinite life that's called by many names ultimate reality, God, Tao, Mother, Allah, Yahweh, Dharma, Kaya, Brahman, and Great Spirit, among others. Two, you contain two ways of knowing the world, a greater knowing called Atman, soul, self, spirit, mind, etc., that intuitively knows each finite life as a unique manifestation of infinite life, and a lesser knowing called self, ego, ahem, kibber, etc., that mistakes uniqueness for separateness and imagines itself apart from, rather than a part of infinite life. Three, awakening the greater self and knowing the interconnectedness of all life in the singular life carries with it a universal ethic, calling the awakened to cultivate compassion and justice toward all beings. Four, awakening your greater self and living this ethic is the highest goal you can set for yourself. Perennial wisdom is a global spirituality rather than a global religion. With a deep respect for different religions, the One River Foundation sees the common thread of wisdom that's highlighted within each faith tradition And it is this central wisdom that they see as providing the foundation for a new, spiritually rich civilization. Today we are privileged to hear about this perennial wisdom from the rabbi himself. My name is Rabbi Rami Shapiro. I'm the director of the One River Foundation that promotes the perennial wisdom at the mystic heart of all the world's religions. Perennial wisdom has got four basic points. First point is that everything in the universe is a manifesting of, and then you fill in the blank, reality, nature, God, mother, Allah, right, Dharmakaya, whatever, whatever, you know, Brahman, whatever your terminology is. The, the idea is that everything that exists, you and I, the room we're sitting in, whether it's sentient, not sentient, animate or inanimate, It's all a manifesting of God. Mm -hmm. Second point of the four is that you and I, every human being, has an innate capacity to awaken to that truth. The third one is when you have that awakening, you you have no choice but to act morally, ethically, compassionately, you know, with respect for all beings. And the fourth point is this is the reason humans exist, to awaken to the divine and live, to awaken to God and live that godly lifestyle. And in its early stages, Judaism was very much an expression of these, of these four things. So as a rabbi, that's what I teach. I find the texts and the teachings that articulate those, those four points. So, for example, when uh, it says in the, in the Torah and the Bible, uh, it says that it, the, tech, the, the term in Hebrew is ain od. There's God, and then it says ain od, nothing else. So the mystical interpretation of that is there's nothing else but God. Everything is a manifesting of the singular reality. Conventional understanding is there's no other God but God. So the perennial approach is always from the mystical end. So it's not just that there's only one God. It's that there's God is the only thing that exists. I mean, this leads into, into the whole issue of vegetarianism, uh, which is, is a central part of just the way I live personally as part of this perennial uh, philosophy, but I don't insist other people do that. But in the Jewish tradition, it says that we are not to cause unnecessary harm to animals. Uh, I'll come back to that one, but also in Leviticus, it says, love your neighbor as yourself. 
30 some odd times the Bible says, love the stranger. So when you take the Leviticus text that says, love your neighbor as yourself, I taught Bible for 10 years and in the university. Mm -hmm. So in my classes, I would say, what do you think this means? And the students, there's always someone who says, oh, it means I have to love my neighbor as I love myself. But the Bible never tells you to love yourself. It says, love your neighbor as yourself. What it's saying is your neighbor is yourself, not the egoic self, but the capital S, Atman, Brahmin kind of, kind of self. So in, in Judaism, the narrow self, the lowercase self, the consciousness of that self is called mochin de katnut, small mind or narrow mind. And what we're trying to do in the mystical end of any tradition, but certainly in Judaism, is move from narrow mind to spacious mind, from mochin de katnut, narrow mind, to mochin de godlut, spacious mind. So when you're in spacious mind and you read Love Your Neighbor as Yourself, you realize that your neighbor is yourself. We're all part of the same you know, body of, of the divine reality. When it says later, you, know, you, you can't uh, cause an animal unnecessary suffering, it's, to me, it's the same reasoning because we're all part of the same reality. Eating animals is unnecessary. So whenever we slaughter an animal in order to consume it, we are causing the animal needless suffering. So I haven't, I mean, I, I don't eat meat and I haven't eaten meat for 30 some odd years. And I did it simply, it wasn't like a decision. It wasn't like, okay, I've got to do this. This is going to be tough. It was simply part of that realization that this is my sister, this is my brother. It just fell away. And I, and I think that that is paradigmatic of the whole notion of the third point of the four perennial wisdom points, that when you have the awakening, you begin to live more compassionately, more justly. So for me, one of the things was this, the cessation of eating meat. Once, once I realized that my, my sister cow was my lunch, I, I no, one, no longer wanted to do that. So it just, it just fell away. grateful to the respectful Rabbi Rami Shapiro for making time for this interview and for sharing his deep insights on these matters. It was a pleasure and privilege to have you on our program, Rabbi Rami. We wish that your humanitarian mission be very soon celebrated with a universal success that we are all looking forward to. For more information on the One River Foundation, please visit OneRiverFoundation.org. Devoted viewers, it was an honor to have your company on today's program entitled Four Basic Principles of a Godly Lifestyle, Interview with Rabbi Rami Shapiro, Part 1 of 2, on Words of Wisdom. Coming up next is Traversing the Veil Between Life and Death, with Dr. Diane Corcoran, part two of two, here on Supreme Master Television. May your peaceful path to the divine within be ever so inspiring and spiritually enriching. For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash W-O-W. Many brilliant Nobel laureates were ethical vegetarians. Their dedicated 
pursuits of the mind were grounded in well-developed principles, strong personal philosophies which acknowledged the sentience of animals and the importance of making sustainable choices as a society. It's much more efficient and energy efficient to have a vegetarian lifestyle. I personally have been a vegetarian all my life and I don't see any reason to change. As long as people will shed the blood of innocent creatures, there can be no peace, no liberty, no harmony between people. Slaughter and justice cannot dwell together. Isaac Beshevi Singer, 1978, Nobel Laureate for Literature, Vegetarian. Until he extends the circle of his compassion to all living things, man will not himself find peace. Albert Schweitzer, 1952, Nobel Laureate for Peace, Vegetarian. Vegetarian food leaves a deep impression on our nature. If the whole world adopts vegetarianism, it can change the destiny of humankind. Albert Einstein, 1921, Nobel Laureate for Physics, Vegetarian. Be veg, go green to save the planet. We thank all the reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies, everywhere in the world for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavors and protect you always, especially while on duty. Ever wonder how beautiful our planet is? With exotic birds, diverse flora and fauna, immense oceans, vast rivers, endless skies, and generous earth, all of which house, nourish, and protect every being under the loving care, without asking for any reward. Fortunate and blessed are we indeed to live on this wondrous planet and enjoy all the precious gifts this world has to offer. May the divine be loved and thanked forever. May we always remember to appreciate and care for our Earth home. Kính chào means greetings in Old Laksis, also known as Vietnamese. I am Khan from the memorable city of Hue in splendid Old Lak, also known as Vietnam. We can never thank you enough for your meat-free lifestyle, which produces a healthier world and a safer planet. May God bless you. Benvenuti fantastici spettatori, siamo felici di avervi con noi, means welcome amazing viewers, we are happy to have you with us, in Italian, I'm Maria from Cosi Campobasso, the peace that good leaders maintain for their country will be forever treasured in the hearts of their people, loving Italy and the world too, thanks you.
Welcome to Noteworthy News, constructive news for a revitalizing world. Constructive news for a reviving world. Supreme Master Television brings you good news from around our beautiful planet. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Our programs can be viewed online at suprememastertv.com. In today's news, Iran and ASEAN create foundation for future economic prosperity. Chinese peacekeepers honored by the United Nations. Companies committed to sustainability honored in Singapore. Canada supports asylum seekers. And Korea's first dog leads campaign on canine adoption and protection. All this and more on Supreme Master Television, your constructive global network. Iran and ASEAN signed friendship and cooperation agreement. In Singapore, Iran and the 10-nation intergovernmental organization, the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, ASEAN, signed the Treaty of Amity and cooperation to create a foundation for future economic partnership. The signing ceremony was arranged in conjunction with the 51st ASEAN Summit, which brought together foreign ministers from the member states committed to enhancing regional integration in several different areas, including economy, education, security, and socio-cultural aspects. We join in a chorus of applause, Iran and ASEAN nations, for your open-minded and friendly ties. May your newly blossomed partnership mark the beginning of an auspicious and abundant era for all your forward-thinking citizens. United Nations recognizes Chinese peacekeepers. The 331 members of the 8th Chinese Peacekeeping Engineer and Medical Detachment stationed in Sudan were recently presented the UN Peace Medals of Honor at a ceremony in Nel Fasher, Darfur, Sudan. The peacekeeping units were awarded for their humanitarian aid and promotion of peace, including providing medical aid and participating in road repairs, refugee assistance, firefighting and rescue work. This past year, Chinese peacekeepers have also been providing much-needed assistance to regions in Darfur, Lebanon, Liberia, Mali and South Sudan. We are deeply touched, China, by your love in action. May your benevolent efforts ensure that citizens have joyful, healthy and harmonious lives. Up next, Archaeologists discover ancient library in Germany. We'd like to thank all the great minds that have created technology for making the impossible possible. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. We'll return with more enriching news after these messages. I went to different realms and get some more power, yeah? <laughs> To speed up our planet improvement and evolution, okay? Wow. Yes. But as I said before, I could not disclose this to you. The name, okay, of the goddess, of the realm. Each realm uh, inhabits about three, uh, two, three to five hundred beings. Wow. And they they are the guardians of different power. Like in Eosku, you know, they have many, many powers, okay? Yes. And in this uh, divinity realm, the gods have all together, they share different powers. Please join us for Speed Up Our Planet's Improvement and Evolution with these divinity powers. Teleconference with Supreme Master TNI and the Supreme Master TV staff, part 4 of 5, on Between Master and Disciples, on Tuesday, September 18th, 2018, to find out more. the Reeves Munjack, and it's fun to be vegan like me. Stay vigilant whenever you're walking your animal companion. Look ahead for glass or any other sharp objects. 
According to the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, if your animal friend accidentally gets a small wound, less than half an inch in diameter, it can be cleaned with an antibacterial wash and wrapped with a light bandage. For anything bigger, please make a visit to the veterinarian for treatment. Thank you for your attention and lots of love for being veg and going green to save the planet for all humans and us all co-inhabitants. Now it's time for the worldwide weather. Ancient public library discovered in Germany. Archaeologists have uncovered the oldest public library in Germany, built in the 2nd century AD in the center of the city of Cologne. Originally unearthed in 2017, 
archaeologists later concluded that the niches in the walls meant that the structure had been used as a library, possibly housing approximately 20,000 scrolls. The walls and three niches of the ancient building will be visible in the Protestant Church Community Center, where it is now located. What a remarkable find in Germany! May we honor our rich and fascinating past as humanity moves into a glorious future. Green firms recognized with sustainable business awards in Singapore in a gathering organized by international events producer Global Initiatives in Singapore, 19 sustainable business awards were announced with property firm City Developments Limited, CDL of Singapore, and global consumer product company Unilever, honored as the overall winners. Both have committed to green business ethics and reducing their environmental footprint. Unilever also won awards for water and supply chain management and CDL for reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Our admiration and thanks Singapore for honoring Eco Endeavors. Congratulations, City Developments Limited, Unilever and all companies awarded for helping to protect and improve our earth. May every business take the path of creating a loving and sustainable world. Canada supports asylum seekers. The Canadian government has recently contributed 8.4 million US dollars to help operate the shelters in Toronto, Ontario, in which approximately 40% of the shelter residents are asylum seekers. The funds are also being used to create a triage centre in Cornwall, Ontario, to assist people who have entered the country at unofficial border crossings. The plan was welcomed by municipalities, with the mayor of Chatham Kent, the Honourable Randy Hope, saying, we see this as an opportunity for our communities to rally behind each other and support each other, to make sure we are bringing in people and giving them gainful employment opportunities. Chatham Kent, with a population of 102,000, has already welcomed 75 Syrian refugees into its municipality. A big salute, Canadian government, municipalities and citizens for your compassionate assistance to sisters and brothers in their time of need. May you always be in God's abundant blessings. Coming up, school started by refugees ranked as one of the best in Uganda. We're going to send thanks to the actors and actresses for letting us enjoy unforgettable performances and character portrayals. Supreme Master Television will return in just a moment with more beneficial news. Open borders would lift millions out of poverty. According to four different studies, opening borders would have an estimated growth in gross worldwide product between 67 to 147 percent. The World Bank notes that if all developed countries would accept just 3% more motivated immigrants, the world's poor would have 305 billion US dollars more to spend, which is three times more than the combined total development aid worldwide. According to Dutch author and historian Rutger Bregman, migration is the most powerful tool to alleviate poverty. Poverty economist Lant Pritchett agrees, saying immigration in all of our history is one of the most powerful drivers of prosperity. Welcome back to Northworthy News, effective news for an uplifting world. School started by refugees loaded as one of Uganda's best. In 2005, young refugees staying at the Kiangwali refugee settlement in western Uganda founded a school to help educate children like themselves. They named the school Koburuas after their countries of origin. The Democratic Republic of the Congo, Burundi, Rwanda and Sudan. 
Now, with 530 students attending the school, the children and teachers at Kuburas know firsthand that education opens doors, and their dedication has brought results and recognition. Koburas ranks as one of the top four schools in Uganda, based on national exam results, and 40 of its graduates are currently studying at universities around the world. What an inspirational example! Koburas founders, students and teachers, your amazing spirit of determination and cooperation are changing the world through education. God bless you! Korea's first dog leads campaign on canine adoption and protection. On the grounds of Seoul Plaza on July 17, Korea's first dog, Tori, teamed up with animal rights group Care or Coexistence of Animal Rights on Earth to oppose dog meat consumption and encourage the adoption of abandoned canines. Tori is the companion dog of His Excellency Moon Jae-in. President of the Republic of Korea, who adopted him in 2017. Since then, Tori's life has transformed. 그리고 문재인 대통령과 김정숙 여사께서 모두 어, 토리가 처음에 왔을 때 그런 어, 조금 불안해하고 그 다음에 뭔가 좀 슬펐던 그런 표정들이 지금은 굉장히 환하고 그런 밝은 모습으로 바뀌어서 어, 무척 기분 좋고 행복해 하고 계시다는 그런 전언입니다. With 2018 soft toys made in the image of Tori and carrying the slogan. Am Not Food, the campaign organized by CARE hopes to boost awareness that all abandoned dogs deserve a second chance just like Tori. 이렇게 토리처럼 학대받고 유기되고 그 다음에 잡아먹힐 위기에서 구조된 동물도 이렇게 사랑받는 반려견으로 거듭날 수 있다. 이런 유기견이 생기지 않았으면 하는 의미에서 토리를 입양하게 되었고요. 그다음에 유기견이 생김으로 인해서 요즘은 많은 그런 아이들이 식용으로 가는 경우가 너무 많이 있기 때문에 어떻게 식용견이 따로 있겠어요? 모든 생명체인데 모든 생명은 소중합니다. 개라는 동물이 더 이상 식용으로 희생되지 않는 나라 개라는 동물이 모두에게 반려동물이 되는 그런 대한민국을 만들고 싶습니다. 어, 여러분들 어, 유기견에 대해서 많이 관심 가져주시고 유기견들 상처받지 않게 많이 입양해 주시고 我们希望这个活动之后让更多人知道狗狗是我们的朋友然后就是可以放弃去吃狗希望大家多一点爱我们的狗狗자목줄고 We send our deep appreciation care and all involved for your fervent plea to save our precious canine friends. And the big Paul five, Tori, we so happy for you and thanks for landing your first dog status to give hope to other adorable furry companions like you. We also thank the Korean president and first lady for setting a compassionate trend and for allowing Tori to lead this merciful campaign. May our world soon greet the era of peace in which all beings live harmoniously together in love and respect. It's now time to enjoy the joke of the day entitled Salary Negotiation. Excuse me, sir. May I talk to you? Sure. Come on in. What can I do for you? Well, sir, as you know, I have been an employee of this firm for over 10 years. Yes? I won't beat around the bush, sir. I would like a raise. I currently have four companies after me, and so I decided to talk to you first. A raise? I would love to give you a raise, but this is just not the right time. I understand your position and I know that the current economic downturn has had a negative impact on sales, but you must also take into consideration my hard work, proactiveness and loyalty to this company for over a decade. 
taking into account these factors and considering I don't want to start a brain drain, I am willing to offer you a 10% raise and an extra 5 days of vacation time. How does that sound? Great. It's a deal. Thank you, sir. Before you go, just out of curiosity, what companies were after you? Oh, the electric company, gas company, water company, and the mortgage company. <laughs> and now we have a hard line from Zhenzhen in China. Thank you, Qinghai Wu Shangshi. Gansi 最喜欢师傅充满智慧的各种开示为地球带来和平与希望。林真真,来自中国。Joyous Zhenzhen, we are delighted to know of the positive, heartwarming effect you have experienced as a result of watching Supreme Master Television and in particular, Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures where she imparts her profound wisdom. We pray that our programs continue to nourish yourself and the world in this way. Best wishes and heaven's blessings, Supreme Master TV staff. P.S. Master says, love you. We welcome your heartlines and stories. Please send them to heartline at suprememastertv.com. sure have enjoyed spending time with you on Northworthy News. May your days be graced with wisdom and bliss. Wishing you a blessed week. We thank all the reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies, everywhere in the world for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavors and protect you always, especially while on duty. For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash nwn. Lake Chad is disappearing. Due to climate change and livestock overgrazing, the once fourth largest lake in Africa has shrunk by 90%. UN Food and Agriculture Organization has warned that Lake Chad could disappear entirely in about 20 years, threatening the lives of up to 30 million people. Conflicts over water are likely to increase, both due to an increase in the use of water and therefore scarcity, as well as being exacerbated by the impacts of climatic change. So what can you do to help? It's rather simple. Our food is by far the largest water consumer in society. Each of us needs 90% of the water that we use each day for our food. With my water specialization, the benefits of people being more vegetarian is that they reduce their water footprint.
Think, for instance, of a hamburger. It uses roughly two and a half thousand liters of water to produce one hamburger. As societies start to eat more meat, this, of course, has a massive impact on water use globally. Be veg, go green to save the planet. For more urgent information, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash SOS. So there's a lot of things that um, happen in that short period of time. But it's intense light and intense love. They will talk about this wonderful light that they walked into, and it was total unconditional love, being surrounded by unconditional love. Watch on to find out more. Greetings, esteemed friends, and welcome to Exploring the Afterlife with Dr. Diane Corcoran, part two of two. We have the honor of having our program presented by neurologist Dr. Sarol Gerultuya of Mongolia. Dr. Gerultuya earned her Doctor of Medicine degree from the Medical University of Mongolia in Ulaanbaatar. This highly skilled physician completed residency programs in three specialties, otorhinolaryngology, acupuncture, and neurology. In years past, she worked as an ear, nose, and throat specialist at the ENT hospital AMJJ in Ulaanbaatar and is currently director and a neurologist at the vegan hospital in Mongolia called the Korsan Neurology and Rehabilitation Hospital. Өнгөж авахлаг Монгол улсаас гэрэл цагийн сарвал мэдчилж байна. Амдрал тань дотоодын амгалан дундуршгүй мөнхийн бэлэг оюунаар дүүрэн байхыг ээлдэг Монголын арт түмэн ерөөе. Олон улсад алдартай хэлтгэгч Клиник хөхлийн судлаач Диан Коркранте хийж буй ярилцлага үргэлжлүүлэх доктор Диан Коркранте хамт өхлийн дараах амьдралыг судалгуй нэвтрүүлгийн төгсгөлийн дугаарт тавтай амьрал. Хатгтай Коркран клиник хөхлийн талаарх судалгааны олон улсын нийгэмлэгийн ерөнхийлөгчөөр олон жил ажиллажээ. Тэрээр би үзэл өгөх үед клиник хөхөл ба нууцлаг шилжилтийн туршлагуудын эмхтгэл хэмээх номын зохиолч бөгөөд Ахмад Даачтын тулааны клиник хөхлийн төслийн тэргүүлэг судлаач юм. Хатгтай Гаркран сувилгын ухааны докторын зэрэгтэй ажээ. Өнөөдрийн нэвтрүүлгээр Диан клиник хөхөлд хамгийн ихээр тохиолддог онцлогуудын талаар тайлбарлана. Well, the common characteristics are um, some of them is uh, you have some kind of a clinical incident, you're drowned, you're electrocuted, you're shot, and then you feel yourself coming out of your physical body and you're up by the ceiling and you can see your physical body and you can hear everything that's going on. And of course, a lot of people, they're not sure if they're dead, if they're alive, they don't know what's going on with them. Many of them will talk about then going further. Uh, kids will say sometimes, I died and I went to heaven. Um, you're likely to see um, other spirits there that are deceased relatives. And you might not know them, but you know that they are relatives of yours and you get all kinds of information about that. There are beautiful music um, that is very different from what we have. There are flowers and colors that are very different than what we have. Um, there are many um, aspects to knowing things. Um, they'll say, I just knew what it was about. If you have any questions, if people want to know about religion, about 
medicine about whatever. All they have to do is think it and it will come to them and they will get information about these things. So there's a lot of things that um, happen in that short period of time. They uh, will have different after effects, um, but it's intense light and intense love. They will talk about this wonderful light that they walked into and it was total unconditional love, being surrounded by unconditional love. And there's um, no competition to that, apparently. Uh, many, many experiencers don't want to come back. Even though they have children or have other things, they say, this is where I want to be. This is where I was meant to be. Dr. Corcoran, do you think there are a lot of people who have had near-death experiences? There are many, many millions of people who have had near-death experiences. Um, usually one out of ten in just a random sample of people. I tell people all the time when they say, well, could you get me somebody who's had an experience? I say, go to your office or your family and just ask because it's a very high proportion. And children, it's much higher than that. So a lot, millions and millions of people leave hospitals every day having had a near-death experience, and usually without support or knowing what to do about it. Do you think people are more open about the near-death experiences now comparing to a decade ago? I think uh, certainly they're more open about it now and many more people have talked about it. Uh, when I started doing this work, there were no books, nobody would written anything, and now we have thousands of books and movies. And so I think it really is important uh, for us to see that it's gaining and gaining. Um, recognition and it really is important for people to have that recognition so people can feel that um, it's normal to have this experience. We just need to help them recognize what it is. All information concerning the scientific evidence of climate change and its solution is in Supreme Master Ching Hai's book, From Crisis to Peace. Supreme Master Ching Hai presents the major factors associated with global warming and more importantly, its root cause, the livestock industry. The smartest way would be to stop the worsening of global warming by being vegan. It sounds very simple but it is the best solution, the most effective, and the uh, effect of it will be felt almost immediately. A must-have for you and your friends from Crisis to Peace book, free to download at crisis2peace.org. Dr. Diane Karkarante Hamt, Uchlin Darach Andrlik Sotlan Hutspurt, Irgen Tafta Mörl. Bit Dianes, Irul Mindim Rixlut, Kilin Kuchlin Tatar, Hangat Tamidil Tabetiskik, Aso. I don't think there is enough information. Nurses are very good, they usually know uh, what a near death experience is. Physicians still have not really gotten the message about NDEs. And because they're very science-based, um, they have a hard time sometimes with understanding something that's very spiritual in nature. We're starting to see that change because uh, Dr. Alexander has written his book, The Proof of Heaven, which really helps. He's a neurosurgeon who had an NDE. So um, other doctors can get a sense from that. 
There's Dr. Mary Neal, who's an orthopedic surgeon, and we're starting to have a lot more doctors, which will help physicians come to grips with this um, idea, but we need more training, more education for the medical field, for sure. Kilin Kuklin to Strab was not Hwatsak, who must see in Sitrits Erut Baron, Hamrin Jokal Botrik, Dian on Sim. I've had many people who have had near death experiences that thought they were going crazy. They really didn't know what was happening to them. And so I've had the opportunity to sit with them and talk with them and teach them about the near death experience and after effect. And it certainly um, gave them a better perspective and it took them a while to integrate it into their life, but they were much, much happier once they knew the information about it. Your service seems to be more focused on veterans and children. Why do you feel that they need more help? Children need more help because they're going to try to tell their parents that something happened to them. They died, they went to heaven, they saw God, they saw angels. And if the parents don't believe them, then they're not going to talk about it again. So that makes them very isolated because they have no place to go. Soldiers are very individual people. They, you know, they've already had physical um, problems. They've had PTSD. They've had a whole boatload of issues to deal with. And then to have an NDE on top of it makes it very difficult. They really need somebody that could just let them validate their experience and let them talk about it a little bit. And what do you find is the most rewarding in your job? The most rewarding is being able to help people. You know, if you can help one person, if you give a lecture, if you give a talk and one person uh, made their life easier because you were able to give them something, I think that's the best reward we can ever have. The most important message that we have in the NDE field today is that we spread the word and we support people and we acknowledge them and we listen to children and we listen to people who are trying to tell us about um, a different world that exists and uh, the veil's getting thinner and thinner for people to move back and forth. Children move back and forth very easily. And so I think um, we just have to keep moving one person at a time, one group at a time, and show them that the NDE is all about love. Dr. Diane Corcoran and Clint Cooklin to Slens Hartford, Zamslech Girls Bagat, Tadraham Bora, Ilrihili. Хайр нэг үсэл хэрсэн ухаан тань бид бүгдэд үлгэрчээ болж байна. Диан Каркараны талаах дэлгэрэнгүй мэдээллийг дараа хаягаар авна уу? Каркаран консалтинцэг биз. Клиник хүлийн судалгааны олон улсын нийгэмлэгийн талаах дэлгэрэнгүй мэдээллийг дараа хаягаар авна уу? ianz.org Зөөлэн сэтгэлд үзэгчтэй доктор Диан Каркарантэ хамт өглийн дараа хандрлыг судлах үе нэвтрүүлгийн сүүлийн дугаарыг хүлээн авч үзсэнд баярлаа. Одоо бодол санааны кинет заавчлаа эргээр бодох багаж нэвтрүүлгийн хоёрдугаар хэсэг гарах болно. Оршгүй бүхэнтэй нэгдэх холбоо тэдний гих хайрын мэдрэмж тань өргөн сэтгэлэх болтугай. Tender-hearted viewers, thank you for joining us for the concluding episode of Exploring the Afterlife with Dr. Diane Corcoran. Coming up next is Mind Kinetics Coaching Positive Thinking Tools, Part 2 of 2. May you experience a growing sense of connection with and love for all beings.
for more details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash ss. to think about animals and the environment. You also have to think about human rights and social justice issues. You have to put all of these together in order to get a big picture perspective. The Ethics and Climate Change Relationship, an interview with Dr. Jeff Sebo, part two of two. Watch on Wednesday, September 19th to find out more.